Hi there, it's Nicole from Mama Elephant, and today I have a card featuring the Little Girl Agenda Stamps and Dies, and I'm pairing them with the heart die from the Dotted Detail Die Collection to make some heart die cut windows, and greetings from the Cross My Heart stamp set. I went ahead and die cut the hearts from a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock. And I've also stamped and embossed greetings from the Cross My Heart stamp set on the white cardstock panel that's going to be the front of my card. That's the Love You script. And then the rest of the phrase I've stamped and embossed on black cardstock. And I'm going to adhere that in a strip right underneath the script greeting once I've applied some ink to this panel. I'm going to blend candied apple and spun sugar distress inks over the cardstock to give some color to my little heart window panel and plus this is going to serve as the embossed resist for the greeting so you'll be able to see the love you pop out as i apply this ink to the panel spun sugar along the top and then candied apple along the bottom half and I'm just gonna work those colors together until I get a seamless blend. There's that love you starting to really pop out. What I love about the little girl agenda and the little boy agenda and little cat and dog agenda for that matter is that they work with so many different stamps, dies, and greetings. Um, you can use any greeting stamp set that you have and pair the adorable little images with those greetings for all kinds of cards. They're just so super versatile. I'm going to spritz the panel with water from a Distress sprayer and blot it dry with a paper towel. Add some fun texture and, and distressing to the background. I'll also buff off any ink that's on the embossed area so that it's nice and bright white. I'm going to trim down my strip now to fit underneath. I don't want it to go all the way across, so I'm just going to kind of trim that on either side of the stamped and embossed greeting. And I'm going to use a little score tape. It's a nice, thin, strong adhesive. This is a pretty thin strip, so I didn't think my tape runner, I it's kind of a wider adhesive, would work here. And score tape is nice and strong, and I think it will work perfect to attach this greeting strip right underneath the Love You. Just checking real quick. Go ahead and center that right underneath. I'll adhere that in place. And then I'm going to apply some ink to those die cut hearts. So I kept the hearts when I die cut the dotted detail heart shape. What I love is it might be a little hard to see here, but it die cuts the shape and then it die cuts the little or not really die cuts, but it presses in that little dotted detail on the outside of the heart. So the front of the panel is going to have that amazing dotted detail. The hearts I am inking up with candied apple distress ink and I'm pushing that ink on really hard. I want it to be a nice bright red, a nice solid red. I won't be distressing this at all. To dry the ink I'm going to hit it with a heat gun so that it dries quickly and I don't get finger marks in it. And then I want to put my panel together. So to do this I'm going to put foam adhesive on the back of the window panel. I like for this these panels that have little uh, window shapes to be slightly dimensional. I think it adds some nice interest. The Scotch foam tape is very low profile, so it's not gonna stick up really high, but it definitely helps with that window look. So I'm piecing all of this foam tape together on the back of the panel. That's going to give me a nice flat surface to work with. I don't want it to have any funny little areas where it dips in. So I'm filling it pretty completely, but I'm having to maneuver and fit it around those heart openings, which can be a little bit tricky, but I'm just using every little teeny tiny piece here. And then I'm going to peel this all off and adhere it to a white top fold card base. If you didn't want to color in the hearts, I kind of like to get the most from it. So I, 
Instead of coloring another panel, which you could also do, you could just add some red ink behind where each of these areas is gonna go and put a whole sheet of paper back behind it. I like to use the hearts. It just depends. I, I've done it both ways, but I feel like this way there is no waste. So there is the little heart inserts. Nice bright red all adhered inside those little areas and those lie flat against the card. I have picked four images from the Little Girl Agenda now and I'm going to stamp them on some Bristol, or pardon me, some Nina Smooth White card stock using an ink for Copic coloring. I'm gonna quickly clean those once I've stamped them twice. I do like to use the Misty. I have found that I get much better stamped impressions if I can stamp the image twice, one on top of another. And then I'm customizing the sign the one little girl is holding with the high greeting, also from the little girl agenda stamp set. Then I'm going to color these in, and this was super speedy coloring. I have sped this up for the video purposes, but I colored these really quickly. Um, kept the color choices kind of to a minimum. The skin tone colors I'm using are E00, 11, 13, and R20 for the cheeks. That is about as much blending as I'm going to do, that and the hair. Um, three shades, you could probably get away with two if you wanted to. Then I have three different color combinations for hair. The black color combination I'm using is C5, 7, and 9. Then for what they're wearing, the balloons they're holding, the sign, those colors are all gonna be confined to reds and pinks. I want them to coordinate with the background I designed. And I'm doing a little red here. In fact, I'll go ahead and do several little areas that are gonna be red trying to do all of those at once. Move on to the next little girl's hair, which is gonna be E53, 55, and 57. And I'm really sorry, my hand is kind of in the way. I wish I would have tipped my camera a little bit more at an angle. They're so little, it's really hard to um, see how where you're coloring, I guess, unless you hold it at an angle a little bit more. RV 52 and 55 for this first pink color combination. My next or last color combination for hair that I'm going to be using today is E40, 43, and 44. Just feathering it, not blending it. And the last little girl, I'm going to use the same color combination that I used for the first one. Now I want to have another color of pink rather than the RV 52 and 55 that I've already used for just a little variation. So I tried out a few different markers trying to gauge what I wanted to use. I did use the RV 52 and 55 for the sign the little girl's holding, but for her dress and for that last star balloon, I'm gonna use RV 32 and 34. And it adds just enough different. I think the first color combination I used um, has a little more of a purple tint or feel to it, and this is a little more pink. I'm gonna die cut those images with the coordinating Little Girl Agenda dies. In fact, I had to really search for this little girl's die. I accidentally put it in the Little Boy Agenda. I've used it before. Um, so I probably need to be a little bit more careful about where I, <laughs> when I put those away, if I use them both together. Now I am simply going to take some glue dots and attach these images to my card. So the girl holding the balloon is actually gonna stand on that little black greeting strip right there at the end of Love You. Then the rest of the little, the little girls are going to be inside of the heart windows. So this little girl's kind of jumping for joy. This one's gonna be sitting down here coming up out of the bottom of the heart straight on. In fact, I'm gonna use a, something to kind of pop out that tip of the heart. And then this little girl, I want her to look like she's coming in from the top. I, I messed around with her a little bit, but I really, this is how I originally saw her. And so I am gonna go ahead and do that. I need to trim off a little bit though. There's foam adhesive back behind here, so she's not gonna be able to be tucked under very easily. And I want her to look like she's kind of dangling upside down, coming in from that top right corner of the heart. 
So I trimmed off part of that image, tucked her in there, and I'm ready to finish the card. I want to finish the card with a scattering of pretty pink posh sequins and confetti. I also want to add detail to the eyes with a black glaze pin. The confetti pieces are gonna be attached with glossy accents. The sequins attached with some Zotz Bling glue dots. I'm using the crystal, or the sparkling clear rather, sequins and then the iridescent heart confetti. The hearts, because I think it coordinates nicely back to the little heart openings here. And what I love is just by switching up the greetings you use, the images you use, you could make this be any kind of card. This could be a thank you card. This could be an anniversary card, a wedding card, a birthday card, all kinds of different occasions work for this just by changing your colors. You could change the images. The little boys would be just as cute. The little cat and dog agenda would be cute. Lots and lots of different ways to use this design of card. I'll finish with glossy accents on the balloons and the sign, and this card is all finished. Thanks for joining me today for this Mama Elephant Little Girl Agenda card. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Mama Elephant stamps and dies that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.